We have Gunders, Atkas, Atmur, Kaptan, Kemalogu, and Chinatekin for Turkey. We have Aliyev, Atamov, Gobali, Hanazno, Mamayan, and Agelarazad for Azerbaijan. Turkey in blue. Azerbaijan. Turkey in red. Azerbaijan in blue. So Azerbaijan, the show that can be also strong without Agayev. Yes, exactly. They're in the European finals without their star performer. We have Altmir coming out number one. Erkin, Kemalong, Gunders, and Kaptan. Uh, you weren't watching yesterday. There is a new situation in uh, the rules for karate. Each coach has a card. One is blue, one is red. The first two fighters out here we have Altmir for Turkey and Gobali for Azerbaijan. Yeah, the card this morning changed all the results for, for the third place. Incredible decision. Just in the last second. Amazing. The, l the literally last second, wasn't it? René Schmoll. René Schmoll for Holland. Turned the, turned the, the match round and, and ultimately he was in the fourth position with one second left to go, got a three-point score and won 3-2 because this is, the decision was changed as a coach presented a challenge to his competitors. Jordan Mouachigeri going for Kobali from Turkey. He's going to start the clock now with three points. Two minutes, 26 seconds left of the match. And already the Turks are going ahead in the first match with three clear points against Azerbaijan. So Alkmaar has got a lot of work to do to bring his team back in. John Zuki, fantastic, what a response, Dominic. Came straight back in, brilliant Ashibarai, taking the man to the floor and finishing with a great Yakazuki. This is an exciting team event, no doubt about that. We've got 3-3 already, 2 minutes 17 seconds, still plenty of time for both to score more points. Yeah, that's good. The first match, you can take some risk for the advantage, of course, and... Uh, both are willing to, to score a lot of points. Altamar standing in the center of the map in red. Gubali, Gubanli, Azerbaijan in blue. That initial opening action has just settled them down. They're both now reluctant to lose another point. Remember, there are five. Five matches in the team event. Chudanzuki from Al. Gabanali taking the lead. Four points to three. Very good, Chudanzuki. Altmer is going to get straight back in this match. I think he's going to be fortunate. There's he tries to. Chudanzuki And again, these two, one for the other. Brilliant technique. Straight off the back leg. Takes his three points. He's now six points to four. The Jordan kick. And again, the two settle in the center of the man. But Azerbaijan now trailing by two points in the first opening match of this five man team. We tried to sweep again, but not this time. Good to see they're holding on, but they broke away. They, didn't, they weren't uh, going to risk. Jordan Zuki yeah. from Akka. Yeah, it was too close for the Mawashi and. Altmar again, extending his lead by another point. It's a little bit too close for Al to score. Yeah. Seven points to four now in the opening match. 
One minute now, just under one minute left of the match to go. Jonathan Rabawashi, oh my word. How fast are these guys? They can use their legs like we can use our arms. That's fantastic. They're, they're really and it's three points now. It's going to bring this back. Seven, yeah. seven. This is what people want to see. Karate of this speed, this standard, is fantastic. Again, they settle just for a moment. Thinking about the strategy. How are they going to edge ahead again? What are they going to do? Jordan or Jordan, you're Mawashi from Gubani. Testing each other. Pushing forward. Kamala taking the center of the tatami. Will the referee should break them in a second? Yeah. It's too long. Too long. They're holding on. Both of them going to get a category two warning. Chikoku. Eleven seconds, moving into the last ten seconds. Toshi Baraku. Toshi Baraku means there's only a few seconds left of the match. Four minutes. Good throw. Can he finish? Can he finish? But he hold. But hold. Ah, holding. Gulbani, the Azerbaijani blue, will be penalised. He'll receive now Hansoka Chui because it's within the last ten seconds. But it's Hikiwa. It's a draw. Was a very, very good, very fight. good match. Very so exciting. we have a draw for the first match. With and who are we out for second place? We have Aliyev and Erkan. This is going to be a, 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 a real match, number two. Now, Erkan beat Atomov in the individuals to become European champion. This is turning in a little bit of a wrestle. Pulls his gi off. Erkin, no, big, are, yeah. strong fighter. Yeah, we have a big difference of weight. Aliyev but the low just... profile, the low profile of Aliyev, uh, as we can see with Rafael Agiev, the low profile can often disbalance yeah. the, the, the taller opponent. Uh, and uh, they can take them down to the ground to the mat to, to score. Enes Erkin for Turkey in red. Atomov. Sorry, Aliyev for Azerbaijan in blue. Of course, Aliyev have to be always in in motion. He have to, to go left, right. And we see that style of uh, Taisipaki trying yeah. to to avoid the. Techniques slipping the punches. Two minutes twenty seconds left of the match. This is the second of the five matches. John yeah. Anzuki from Erkin for Turkey. Yeah, he went too straight, too straight in, and uh, of course with the long arm from from Erkin. Yes, Erkin is uh, not possible to get in. Turan Masigeri from. Uh, mm. Ah, Erkin. He has four flags. Doesn't matter whether he's going to get uh, Aliyev is complaining that he felt it was blocked. But we now have three points on the score with the Chudan Washigeti from Anis Erkin of Turkey in red. Aliyev should turn more or take out the technique of Erkin and then try to counter. But now it's more difficult because we know in the back. Both of them are hand. Chikoku at the moment. Well, it was just after Yame. So Erkin couldn't deliver a punch. But Aliyev was holding on and stopping him having the ability to score a point. In which case, he receives a category two for holding on. And he has a Chikoku on the card. And he's trailing by three points. Oh, fast Jodanzuki from yeah. Erkin. Again, the Turk going over the top, using that reach, as you were saying, Dominic, to beat 
Aliyev on the way in. We saw that already we, against uh, Thomas that uh, Aliyev the, the the guard is very low. So, but in this case, I don't understand why why he don't protect better. If he keeps his, he, he has his front hand very low, Aliyev, doesn't he? And he's kind of opening himself up for those high John Anzukis from Erkin. Uh, I think uh, he was propelled out. So, if you step out of the area and your opponent has pushed you out. Uh, is not Joe Guy. One of the judges sees it as Joe Guy, but the referee doesn't agree. Yeah, because and, he was pushed. Uh, he was pushed out. He was propelled out. So it's yeah. not a foul. Try to join Amawashi Geri from Erkin. How is Aliyev going to get back into this? What are you going to tell him, Dominic? View yeah, his coach to now. To take out, out of line and uh, to pull it out. Tune Amawashi Geri from Aliyev. Attempt, but. He's moved into yeah. the line again of Erkin's very straight. lightning fast Yakuzuki. Yeah. Erkin now extends his lead to 5 0. If he gets to eight points clear, then the match. Jordan Mawashi Geri from yeah. Erkin. And this is exactly what I was about to say. As soon as it gets to 8 0, the match finishes there. Yeah. And that's where we are. Erkin for Turkey. Now, the only issue here is if the referee believes the contact was too hard, it was a brilliant technique. Now, is Aliyev exaggerating the, ex the, the level of the contact? And if he is exaggerating, then he could receive Hans Okachui. So, Jell Jakobsen gives the hip on and, and, quite rightly in my opinion, penalizes for exaggeration against oh Aliyev and the match so finishes match here 8-0 yeah. that was a really exciting match for me yeah, Dominic it was clear it was clear but uh, I think the tactic of uh, Aliyev was wrong yes. he should turn like, like, he, he was starting good he was turning left right and that's the way you have to fight against uh, a taller one yes okay this time we have match the same number size three. and we have Mamiev. And Kemalaglu. <laughs> so, match number three. Kemalaglu. Turkey in red. Mamiyev. Azerbaijan in blue. So th this time what they like in the final, they, they really fight for, for points. We had all the finals years ago, the, nothing was going on, and this time they, they really, really going for try to, to score. Yeah. So of course now uh, Azerbaijan are on the pressure. So we saw the opening match finish in a spectacular seven points all draw. Our second match, we saw Erkin with a clear, fantastic performance of 8-0 to take Turkey one match clear. First team to reach three. Uh, and and brilliant, excellent takedown. And just one. But only one judge. But, uh, has scored, but here we will review. see the, the challenge from the Azerbaijan coach and there will be a replay on the video of the cameras sitting at the side of the tatami as we see here and let's see if we can tell from this angle on the screen if it is a successful Zuki, he steps up and he throws a punch now the argument would be whether or not it was correct distance because he was fairly low oh. and the decision close, yeah, that was too close too close so the coach is now not in a position for Azerbaijan to use that blue card again in this match he has a card for each of his five competitors and can use it ah this, this time turn, this a completely turn. different outcome yeah. wonderful takedown very very yeah. quick very strong yeah. and he's going to earn himself three points this puts a completely new 
situation for Azerbaijan. They are now taking the lead three points to one in the third match of the men's Team Kumite final. If Mamiev can win this match, this bout. And the Chudamawashi was one in. Each. Yeah. And again, a great Chudamawashi, Dominic. Yeah, that was good. He, he, he used the grabbing of uh, his opponent and uh, just kicked him. And that was, this time was on good distance. The Mamiev, Azerbaijan, takes the lead now in this bout. 5-3, five, 5-1. Five, again, both together. So, so we have a situation where Al both people can flags. score. But Al had two flags. We don't have a challenge for Akka. Mamiev leading six points to one. One minute and seven seconds left. Av six zero. Six, not big pun, six zero. Uh, Mamiev moving into the last six. If Mamiev can, re if he can score another two points, so there it changes, doesn't it? The outcome of this balance of this match. Erkin's 8-0. So we start from lead, zero. And we start from zero again. So it makes it interesting until the end. And how is he going to score these two points? That Chuda Mawashi? Is he going to go for three points? Because only eight can score. If he takes it, do a takedown and gets an nip on, he would then have nine points, but he can only have a maximum of an 8-0 differential. The Mamiev for Azerbaijan is going to be penalized for a foul and receive a Chikoku warning. Spinning Jordan Yuramawashi, but failed to score. We have one flag. Now one flag, you might yeah. well see a challenge for that point from the coach, and we do. We have one judge sitting in that position, but we have a challenge, so the referee will have to stop the match. We'll have a look at that playback. Maybe the second. But Jordan the, Uramawashi falls over. Wasn't Mamiev moves to the side. Enough. Can that punch go through? Is it good enough? One of the judges felt it was. I'm not so convinced that the, the technique was good enough to score. And neither are the referee commission, no. who will be the people to review. So now we still have a 6-0 lead from Mamiev for Azerbaijan against his Kemalogo from Turkey, who will be desperately trying to get back into this match. So of course for Azerbaijan it would be good that he don't take any points, and if possible to... To extend his lead. Oh, and fact, brilliant, really, 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 really lightning score. fast. Jalan Zuki yeah. from Memelev. He makes a good chance from leg to, to sweep and then to punch, so... Superb movement. And now it's 7 0. One more point, One more point from yeah. Mamiev. And he has restored that position for the teams between Turkey and Azerbaijan. And he has only eight seconds to try and get that, secure that last point. So but as all is not it. lost, he's satisfied with a 7 0. If at the end of the five matches the scores are equal in number of wins from each side, then it goes on the number of points scored. But just before the match finishes, Mamiyev was deemed to be wasting time. He stepped out of the tatami, and because of that, he will receive a Hansakachui wa uh, warning. But it means nothing at the end of this match. He takes his seven points off the mat and a very good win against Kamaloglu from Turkey. Now, match number four. Crucial position between Hazanov of Azerbaijan and Gundas. For Turkey. Match number four. Turkey still winning by one match. And, uh, sorry, Turkey and Azerbaijan. Equal on matches so far. 1-1. One, one. But Gundas. It's going to take the lead with a Chudan, Chudan Geri to score Wazari.
both fighters in the center. Both fighters in the center of the tatami. Each trying to find a way through the guard of their opponent. Gundas yesterday took a silver medal in the individuals. John Azuki from yeah, that was good. the Azerbaijan fighter. Hasanov going to take the lead now with a Yuko score. Goodness, claw this point back. And remember, it's not about the number of points in the first instance. It's an attempt for a Jodanzuki, but we have two of the judges believing that uh, Hasnov could have stayed in the tatami if he'd tried. So he'll receive a Chikoku warning for Jogai. Jordan Zuki from again, yeah. Hazanov, lightning fast. Off the front hand, Gazamazuki. Extends, he uh, draws back that point now, 2-2. Two -two. Tactically, these teams are very well matched, don't you think, Dominic? Jordan Zuki, yes, oh, and now, again, Hazanov has to be very, very careful here because he's going to receive a... Kekoku, if he gets another, Hansoku Chui, and then the fourth and final time would be Hansoku, he'd lose the match. So he doesn't want to be in a position where that, he's still got a long time on the mat. Fast Jodanzuki yeah. from Gundas, though. He's going to take the lead now, three points to two in the fourth match. Both teams with one win each. Both fighters taking the center of the tatami, trying to find a way through. Attempted Judah Mawashigeri from Gundas, unsuccessful. Atamov, wondering how he can get back in. He's training by one point. Tries a Jordan Zuki, but it doesn't come off. He's still wrestling, but he's pushed. And the referee stops him. No warnings to come from that engagement. Go again. Hasnov trailing by one point against Gundas in red. Gundas will be happy for a win. Doesn't matter. And a fast Jordan Zuki again from Gundas. As Hasnov came in, he moved off to the right side through that Jordan Zuki, takes his lead forward to a clear two points. That means that Hasnov now has to get a minimum of three points to win or two points to draw. So he always uh, start the same same attack. Jordan Zuki that's... again from Gundas, but Hasnov was lightning fast in his own right and takes the draws back one of those. But he has a challenge coming in for the punch from Gundas from the coach. Gundas received one red flag, whereas Hasnov had two blue flags out. Now Hasnov is going to score a point because two of the flags agree that if. The challenge comes in from this Jordan Zuki here, which looks pretty good from this angle, I have to say, Dominic. But are the referee commission going to be convinced and instruct the referee to award a point to Gundas? I believe he is. Yeah, he is. And a good decision, I think. And this yeah. is an example of where the cards can work very, very successfully. But, this time, but yeah, yeah. Gundas was lightning quick on this time. Absolutely no question about that. He's going to now take his lead again to three. Six points to three in favour of Turkey in the fourth match. Both teams at the moment have one win each. Aznov takes him to the ground. Oh, 
just runs out of time before he can deliver the technique. So Turkey take their second win. And we have all left to play for because the fifth and final match will be between Atomov and Captain. So Azerbaijan have to win with four points difference. And Atomov has the ability to do this. We've seen this before. He's a brilliant fighter. He's brilliant and that's why he's the last one who fight. I think uh, he's able to do it, but it wouldn't be easy. What tactics would you give him? How would you tell him now to come back into this and try and overturn this 2-1 lead from Turkey? So first of all, he have to, to take the lead from the beginning. And of course, the Turkish will uh, try to get out of the fight. And here we are. Here we are, but with both score, we have a, two a, flag two for flags red. for blue, and we have two flags for red. red. So each of the competitors score, cancelling each other out. Fifth match of the senior team men's cubate for the 49th European Championships here in Tampere in Finland captain for Turkey in red Atomov for Azerbaijan in blue Turkey leading two wins to one if at the end of this match if it's a draw two wins oh fast Jordan Zuki from Atomov, but he only receives no, one blue flag. No, no, two, two, oh, he, two, he has two, two. Yeah, two. So he's going to take that point. Yeah. So Atomov now taking the lead in this match. One minute, 56 seconds left. He's Atomov in blue, points. Turkey in red. With Kaptan. Both fighters just wrestling. Oh. Oh. It was so close, so close, but no flags. I'm not sure. It was difficult to see, but I do think we will get a challenge from the There's Azerbaijan no coach. No challenge. No challenge. He's decided not to yeah. challenge. Yeah. I think it was very close because he wasn't in a good position to actually see the finish of the technique. And he didn't want to lose the opportunity to show that blue card at some other point later on. Game, both fighters for second. Chuda Mawashi Gary from Captain, but unsuccessful. Jordan Ora Mawashi. Oh my word, what a fantastic yeah. technique. The athleticism, the flexibility of Atomov putting in a Jordan Ura Mawashi to score three points, taking his lead now five points to one no. in this all decisive match. Now the Turkish need to have one point at least. I remember if this is a draw after this match, if both teams have the same number of victories, it goes to a points count back. So, for the so moment, Captain uh, needs to start to think about coming back in, regardless of that 8-0 win earlier on in the fourth match, uh, sorry, in the, in the second match with Erkin. Just less than one minute left of the match. Atomon. For Azerbaijan in blue, leading 5-1 against Kaptan for Turkey in red. Fast Jordan Turkey again from the Azerbaijan fighter, but not good enough. Takes him down in the mat. Just couldn't free himself to be able to score that three-point score for Ipon. You can see the tension on. Now, Captain the has to be more active. Captain so you, have to, you have to change the, the rhythm to get the point. First Jordan Zuki. First Jordan Zuki from Captain. But Atomov goes underneath. And we're going to see a challenge from the coach of Captain. I think Captain technically passed, but uh, we will see that now. We'll have a look on the action replay. 
But we do know that Atomov has two flags, so Atomov will score his he points. Will score, yeah. Now look carefully at the Turk in red there. No points, mm. yeah. The form was maybe a little bit. He bounced yeah. off the top of his head, so it's not a valid score. Yura Mawashi went past. Not good enough. So now Captain we'll now starting to get yeah. a little bit desperate. He knows yeah. he needs to try to come back in to draw this match if he can. And of course, against Atomov, it will be very difficult. And a big score. We move into the last 10 seconds at Toshi Baraku. The final so, match of the team event. Now he needs uh, three points. And Suzuki yeah. from both fighters. But it's going to cancel each other out. At Captain earns an important point, but it's cancelled out by the seventh score from Atomov. Three seconds left. Atomov just nonchalantly steps out of the tatami. He knows that he can receive a Hansaka Chewy, and it doesn't matter too much, but he has one second with John Anzuki from Atomov to finish the match. Very interesting. But I think the Turkish they did it well. So they had a good start, and um, both of them, they're really good teams and uh, very strong. And we can see that uh, even it's possible to beat the Turkish. Yes. Yes. They had uh, a very strong team, but at the end. And what is, what is uh, the, uh, the uh, Azerbaijan team? I think you mentioned this uh, yesterday. Aren't the tallest of... Uh, of nations a lot of these guys in their team are uh, below six feet we see lots of other teams uh, particularly